followers. I'm Kim Kish, a member of the Dream Team, and we're here at Shelter. I'm here with Emmy Dillon, the winner of the 2016 Women's Air Race Classic. How are you, Emmy? I'm doing well. I'm glad to be back in Daytona. Thank you so much for doing this with me today. We're happy to have you. So walk me through, what was it like winning the 2016 Women's Air Race Classic? It's completely <laughs> unbelievable um, to be able to fly that many miles in those many hours, 18 and a half, I think it was, um, and to come back in one piece, <laughs> exhausted and tired, and realize that, you know, you came out on top of 50 fantastic, amazing other teams, 130 other female pilots with amazing experiences to share with us, and it's truly unbelievable. It's been two months, and I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> That's just incredible. So, during this really... Um hard race and very strenuous race, what was your biggest setback? Biggest setback? Um, I would say that um, I think for us, it was our first time ever flying in mountainous terrain that was that mountainous before we had dealt with the Appalachians, never something as intense as um, out in New Mexico and Arizona. So dealing with that, um, I know going out there was absolutely insane. You're getting tossed around like a beanbag. It was ridiculous. So getting over that was a little bit tense. Um, the turbulence um, and the heat, absolutely. <laughs> so I know that you're not an aeronautical science major or professional pilot major, but what led you to this path of aviation? So I've always, you know, been, I guess, obsessed with aviation. <laughs> Um, my first word uh, was plane, believe it or not. So it's always been, you know, a part of me. Uh, my family says that it's a part of my blood. So um, as soon as I turned uh, 15 or 16, um, I started flying and I've never stopped. And it's been five years and I plan to keep on going. <laughs> so because you plan on keep on going, what is your end goal? So that's a big question. <laughs> I have a lot of end goals. Um, but uh, because I'm majoring in human factors, I plan to continue with that. Um, and uh, pursue an engineering degree um, in uh, systems engineering for my master's, um, but also flight instructor on the side, um, build my hours that way, and eventually I'd like to fly in you know, a really nice corporate gig, flying something, you know, big and fast someday. <laughs> so seeing how far you've come, what was what is one thing that you wish someone had told you before entering this industry or even entering the air race. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess there are a couple of things, um, especially for us female pilots, you know, there are people out there that still don't know that we exist or that, you know, it's not our place to be in the cockpit and they will tell you and you can't be afraid to, you know, push them aside. You know, they can't stop you. You're the only person that can drive this. So you have to go out and do what you do best. Go and fly, you know, that best race or go fly your best check ride, whatever it is that you want to do and you just show them. And um, I guess that's my biggest advice is do what you want to do for getting everybody else and despite any setbacks you come across that you will be the fantastic pilot that you want to be. And finally, what is your favorite thing about the Women's Air Race Classic? My favorite thing is meeting all of the people that are there. I mean, there were 130 other female pilots from you know four hours up to 20,000 hours. So the types of experiences that they can share with you is absolutely amazing and to get any advice possible from them, not only in flying, but you know, life goals, pursuing, you know, your dream and you know where to go from there. And it's just great to have like a nice family to come to. We're so happy to have you. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so if you want to learn more about Emmy Dillon, you can go to the Riddle Racers Facebook page. And if you want to learn more about DreamSore and our mission, please visit www.dreamsore.org.